Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. It's our next update on our homesteading yurt adventure. It's the first day of spring, March 20th. And I'm sitting here next to our cold frame with all our seeds in it. And of course our chickens all over the place. So here's what we've been up to. As we wait for the five inches or more of snow to melt off of the garden, we've been keeping ourselves busy with next year's wood. Um, our heart really is in the garden, but so here is a lot of what we've been doing in the last two weeks. We already took the trees down, so day's been chainsawing them up and the kids and I have been standing them up and then he comes around with the axe and splits them apart and we repeat the process until we have wood for next year then we need to stack it and let it dry for the season and hopefully this year we'll have some more seasoned wood we've been busy starting seeds and getting our hands dirty again, which we really missed. We also pruned our fruit tree, fruit and nut trees and decided to try our hands at propagating. So we have our apple trees, cherry trees, almond trees. Look at this, it already has a flower on it. So cute. Plum and another cherry tree. It kind of felt like we were a nursery when we were doing these propagations. So maybe that's in our future. Who knows? Um, we've been using the light in the yurt with some added insulation pieces hanging up, which come and block the sun back down onto the plants. And we've also been using some cold frames. And one of our cold frames that has probably about 200 little seeds, seedlings in there right about now. Unfortunately, the chickens like to step all over it and make it dirty, but it's been working really great. It's about 40 outside, and I just checked it and it was 73 in here. Here's our garden, still half covered in snow over here. This area over here has melted. You can see the greenhouse. Um, the hoop house needs to have its plastic repaired and put on it. We took a couple trees down that are still laying in part of the garden. Need to be cleaned up and some limbs. And the garden fence, as you can see, is laying on the ground, not doing much as the chickens and deer enter at will. So we're going to have to do some work real soon. I'm really itching to get in here and get some stuff planted. I got a couple pieces of black plastic out warming up the soil. I'm hoping maybe next week if we don't get too much snow in the next day or two, like they're forecasting, we can get some peas planted. Here's one of our fruit trees that we just pruned. Um, all of our trees came back this year, which is very good. This is a plum tree that's alive. So all together we have four fruit trees and three nut trees. I originally invested in more like 10 fruit trees, but a lot of them died. Um, so I think I'm done investing in them until I get a little bit of return. Uh, you saw on the last little clip that we started propagating them. So I'll be really happy if that worked because that would be worth the money that I spent. And you can see we had to put up these little makeshift 
fencings around all our fruit trees because our regular fence is down and the deers are stomping around in here. So this will protect them. The deers will come and eat the fruit trees and nut trees. Here's Miss Naya walking around the garden. She'll be allowed in here for a little bit longer, but once we get planted, she'll be getting kicked out. But for now, she's loosening up the soil, adding a little bit of fertilizer, and hopefully eating some weed seeds. Our farm stand is here, waiting for us. We're getting ready, already getting ready for it, planning new signs, uh, making some business cards up and just trying to make it a little bit more professional this year We're gonna do a little bit more advertising and Hang flyers up and just try to get a little bit more action here because I think our gardens gonna be at least double as big as it was Thank you guys for watching this video like subscribe. Bye. Peace. Peace